Hey, I'm Scotty and I'm going to show you how to sketch these two figures. I'm going to work on the line work and then go into a bit of a wash. So I'm starting here with the hair shape and I'm going to build up the shape step by step as I work down the figure. I'm not going to do detail on the face here, I'll just skip down to the shoulder. Working out the width of the shoulder there with some squiggly lines. Now I've got that t-shirt going down about three heads from the bottom of the neck down to the where the t-shirt stops now really loose just seeing where the main points are now when I go down to this hand down here so I'm, I'm making up lines here just for the shirt I think the hand goes about here I'm not going to draw the fingers just the, the main outline Okay, I like the way that the figure is bending, so I'm exaggerating that a little bit. And that's the ice block. I'll go back to the face later, I think, because um, sometimes those details, I can, when I'm in the flow, I don't really want to stop and do those details yet. So now I'm looking up at the figure, trying to work out where this shoe goes. I'm wanting to the figure to still look balanced. So add some details on the shoe and then draw that back leg. You can just see it there behind. Okay, I was trying to get those two shoes um, in line with the head so that it looks balanced. Now I go up to the face. So I only want to add in the eyebrows and nose first to break that face up. And then I add in a little line for the, the eyelash. And then go down to the, the lips. It's always tricky when it has um, an open mouth. So I'm just trying to sketch the darkest parts. There's the jawline. Now we need to fix that neck up a little bit. Now the ear, it goes from the, the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose. I think that looks a bit better with the neck like that. I'll add in some dark hair around the back, a bit at the front as well. wisp of hair. Okay now start the other figure so starting at the top as well getting that shape rough shape of the hair and this means that you can really sketch quickly if you're just getting matching shapes rather than um, sketching out like a mannequin. Now the clothing I can be quite expressive here so I'm looking at the shoulders, seeing how far they come out. The important parts I like to find are the elbows and the shoulders, and then go over to the hands. So I know that the um, shoulder to the elbow is about the same to the hand, so that's how I started that hand, because I looked where the shoulder was. A very rough hand, so... This way of sketching is great because you don't have to worry about fingers and all that sort of, that detail. And I, even though I was, these shapes might look right, I was actually trying to exaggerate the shapes and the angles. But sometimes it actually looks better than trying to copy it exactly. Okay, so coming down here, I want to find that length of the half down to the knee, so I did that squiggle where the knee was. And now the back leg. I thought it was important to go from the knee to there because um, I want that figure to look balanced, so I did the back leg first. You can see here a lot of my lines are one, like in one continuous line. 
So I keep drawing until I feel like I need to have a break and have a look. And this shoe is really important. Um, that subtle curve down the bottom on the left is uh, really important to get that front of the shoe looking like the um, place where the toes go. Okay, now I'll look over the, the sketch and see where the little details I need to add. Um, so obviously I've forgotten the hand, so I'll go and do the hand. I make sure I make that wrist really stand out by adding the angle over to the hand. So it's like a square on the end of the wrist with maybe a thumb or one finger. Just a quick sketch. Okay, so now with the face, um, this one is, I'm starting at the eyebrows and I break that between the hairline and the chin, I have to break it into three sections. So I go for the eyebrows first, then the nose, so then I know that the eyes go in that middle section, about two thirds up from the nose to the eyebrow. And I'm just drawing a little slit with a little dark section for the iris. And then the lips here, I've just made the mouth shut. So I've just put the split between the lip and then a little shadow on the bottom lip. And the glasses are interesting. I tried doing them really thick on another sketch I did, um, but I found it worked much better if I did it quick wispy line so they're really thin and then a bit of hair I was thinking of waiting to do the wash here to make the lines but um I think I'll also add some black lines here just so you can see uh, really make it obvious that there's a difference between the t-shirt and this flowing shirt that's um, on her shoulders and one last thing I could add is the just to give it a bit of um, grounding so I've got the, the gutter there I could put in the background, just past the legs, add some dots, always makes a nice texture. Some little dirt marks. Okay, so now for some wash. Um, I borrowed my daughter's uh, watercolor set and it's it's got some hard, um, what do you call it, solid watercolor, little palettes. And I'm just adding it onto this really, really light. So if you want to, if you're following along, um, lots of water and you can make it um, really light like a wash so that the line work stands out. So we've got brown on the hair and then a, a light orange for the skin. And we'll come back and put a little bit of um, darker orange around the cheeks. I'm changing the color slightly, so I'm going to make this, instead of a navy, a really nice dark blue, bright blue. And as I go down, I'm letting it wash out, so adding some water, and maybe that's too much water, try and dry that off. And almost like letting it go over the lines and leaving little white bits, so it's really loose still. So I'm going to make the pants really light brown and I'll come back and add a bit of shadow. So I'm just blocking in the colors really. Okay, the shoes, we'll make them black and I'll make her shoes blue as well. I think that will balance the sketch a bit. Now I want to make these stripes a bit more vibrant blue. So I'm not sure if you can tell with the camera lighting, but this, this blue is a little bit lighter and going for the stripes. Okay, so now the isopole, I think if you have a little spot of color like that, it will help the sketch have some interest. So I made them bright pink and some yellow highlights. It's a bit in that bag you can see in the reference. And the sock, maybe I'll show you, just add a little bit there. I did mention that we will add a bit of darker red around the cheeks. And this will blend in because the paper's a little bit wet still. So I also added around the knuckles and the, the knee. Okay, so for the shadow, I'm going to try using this purple here. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, 
but it might also blend some of the colors in, which could be nice. Um, and I'll add it to the shadow around the white of his t-shirt here as well. And the dark sections of his jacket. Bit in the hair. That back leg definitely needs a bit of shadow to help you um, see that it's a bit further back. It's a little bit there. Now the girl will do the jacket as well and you can really see the purple there. I won't do too much on the face. Um, sometimes when I add the shadow on the face it really blends in and um, makes the face look purple. So add that on the shadows there. Across the front and that back leg. Okay, I just skipped a little bit, I just added a few details. Um, and on the bag we've got some shadow and on the ground, running across the ground and then up the wall. I want to add some texture, so I'm going to add some spray. Ooh. Yeah, so probably a little bit too much there. Um, but whenever I add these, it, it makes it look really nice, the, the background. And it ties the sketch into the page a bit more. But maybe that was too much. And then I got a bit of orange as well, trying to flick that on. So that adds different colour to it, if it comes out. And I've got my trusty white Posca pen. And I can add some little highlights everywhere. Because they're not they're not cars or things that are shiny um, it's harder to find highlight spots but I'm just gonna add a bit in the hair and some really nice dynamic lines around the clothing maybe outline some of the clothing um, we'll see how we go they look particularly good in these sort of areas where there's dark paint or dark shadows and then I'll add in a few dots everywhere and that has, adds to the texture and interest like little shiny rocks or something on the pathway that reflects the light. Little glints. I really like the result with the line work and the light wash. Um, let me know what you think. And if you enjoy real time videos, I have some more on my Patreon. Thank you so much to all my supporters and I'll see you on the next one.